Good morning, it's Saviour and welcome to Bonsai for Breakfast. And my intention with this new series is to give you just a little bit of light-hearted viewing while you're getting ready for the real grind of work. We might be looking at trees, we might have a short glimpse of one of the bonsai benches, or perhaps answer a question that's come up in any of my earlier videos. I mean, it's definitely not gonna be in depth, but what it will do is hopefully give you a glimpse at some of the 700 trees that you don't actually get to see. Whether that's a good thing or not, it's entirely up to you. And uh, I'll be guided by you. So if in other videos or garden tours, a tree has caught your eye and you wanna know about it, whack down something in the comments of any video and I'll make sure that's gonna come up at breakfast time. Scrambled eggs, turkey bacon, sausage, fried egg. Really the first question I know is at the tip of all your lips, is what breakfast do I normally have? And do you know what? Bran Flakes. Morrison's brand name, Bran Flakes. And to make it uh, even better, I fill it with light muscovado sugar, which is extra heavy on the sugar content. But hey, gotta have one treat in life. What do you have for breakfast? Let me know in the comments. I'm also gonna be really getting down to the here and now, I still find my videos get lagged or delayed by weeks sometimes. And you know what? I actually do lots of work every morning. I do a lot of my bonsai work straight after breakfast, hence the title, Bonsai for Breakfast. You're seeing different um, bonsais coming up right now. This is my wife, Zeta's apple. I'm gonna be doing a big thing about apple pruning and crab apple pruning, because I've had some great results, but more of that in a longer form video. What other sort of things am I going to cover in? Well, I've had some questions. One of the questions I've had is related to the equipment that I use. So I'm going to cover that in Bonsai for breakfast. And in terms of the, these little mini bench tours, that's as a result of uh, a request from Lisa, Lisa Wagner. Is it Wagner or Wagner? But uh, either way, again, this is an example of how I'm going to try and give you what you actually want. I want this to stop. What I thought we'll do today then is we're going to go straight onto one of the little mini benches, have a little look through it and see if there's something on there we can prune for breakfast. Come on, follow me. Now I know you've seen that I've got the, um, the nursery bed where I do ground layers. Well, I do all sorts of stuff in here and I know you've had glimpses, but tell you what, follow me. We're going to go and have a look at the back there where I've got about eight or nine trees up on a shelf. So as I say, I've got three, six, I've got some uh, Japanese larch, oak, uh, Italian alder, hazel, hornbeam at the end. All of them need pruning, but what's gonna go best with our breakfast? Let's have a look. And uh, if you see something, shout out that one in the comments. This is one of the hornbeams. Um, I'm letting the, uh, the structures all grow out, or the branches grow out. It had a big trunk chop here last year. I'm sure that's in one of my uh, trunk chop videos. We've got uh, this lovely large, it's again, really, really interesting. It's, uh, it's got this interesting uh, division of the trunk. Certainly larch needs pruning. I need to just do a little bit of pruning on that. And you know, I've only recently done uh, a great massive epic about pruning larches at different stages of development. So if you wanna know about that, that's the one you wanna watch. I've got this, uh, say, Yamadori oak uh, down Avalan Nurseries. Dug this up back in 2017. A uh, great big thick trunk on it, probably about nine years old. And all again, all I've been doing here, there was a big chop done on it. And I'm just growing, oh, we've got four, branch, four branches on there. Um, I'm inclined to leave that for now, to be honest. There's another of these larches there. This actually had a great big branch off further up here. Um, but uh, I think someone wanted to ask me, um, you know, how much uh, problems do I have with my Yamadori's dying? And I've always said that probably out of every eight that I dig up, at least one, if not two, will uh, not make the transition. And you'll either leave the whole tree, or as you see in this case, at least half of it. So that's gonna get gin later on in the year. And again, just some light pruning. This is probably the first year where we're actually getting some decent growth. Big Italian older, and actually, there is a, a big Italian older special coming up sometime in the next few weeks, which covers 18 months of growth. But this is well and truly due a nice prune. 
But yeah, that was a two-year-old sapling way back in 2016. Can't remember if that was the hazel that I dug up from uh, one of the beds inside, uh, just by the back door. Might need to do a little bit of um, leaf cutting and uh, stuff like that. But truthfully, it's there's no real conflict. There's no real issues with it. I may well just let that continue to grow. All I do need to watch out for bugs under the leaves. At the end here, well, another one of those Yamadori larches. I've had them for quite a while now. And again, this is another one where probably two thirds of the tree uh, didn't make it. But we have got some new growth there. Truthfully, I just want this to keep growing out. So we'll leave that. Which means, if I'm not mistaken, and looking down in the comments, you're voting for the Italian older. So you go get your cereal and I'm gonna go set the benches up to prune this. I know you've heard me say this before, Japanese larch, oh, and oak, and uh, Dawn Redwood, oh, and now Italian Aldo are actually my number one favorite bonsai species. But uh, if you wanna know more about those, of course there's a video up there. Anyway, we're running out of time for this because I've gotta to go to work in a minute. So all I'm gonna do is prune back to, uh, prune back to profile. I've um, got lovely growth here, just wanna flatten that out. So rather than wire this, I was going all the way up. I could wait for a bud there. What I'm actually gonna do is look at that one. I'm actually gonna take this off. No right or wrong answer. It's how I'm feeling at the time. I might pass you to foliate a few of the leaves just so we've got clearance of pads. Now I had wondered whether with this series, because I'm not actually gonna be talking too much about techniques or anything like that, whether or not you'd like to have music on in the background. And I'll tell you what, this is probably the most enjoyable time of the day to do bonsai. Sun hasn't come out, very, very good at de-stressing. In fact, it's de-stressful because I've just come back from the swimming pool. That's interesting, got all this sort of Browny sort of staining on the leaf. Seen it a lot, I don't know whether that's rust. Oh, the leaf's gone. If anyone knows what that is, do you want to let me know in the comments? Well, we we're uh, working our way through this quite quickly now, and it is it's very, very quick pruning. Don't need to take loads of time. I had great fun down the swimming pool today. It's amazing me how uh, how lane swimmers can be a lot like motor uh, motorway drivers, or indeed, you know the people who have their shopping trolleys and go for um, go kart races in the supermarket. The fast lane swimmers seem to have priority over everyone, even if they're in the uh, slow lane. The slow lane swimmers will always go in the fast lane because they think I don't know why I, they get tired of being clogged up in the slow lane, probably. And uh, it's the same, isn't it? Let's be honest, it's the same at the supermarkets. And it's definitely the same on the motorway. You'll notice here that I've actually been cutting entire growth off so it's bare wood. From my experience, that will create back budding here. There's lots of little points here where buds will come out. I think in the front somewhere there, actually. We've got a nice gap up here. So let's prune with that in mind. We've got some upward stuff here. I don't want that. So I'm just going to get rid of that. Same there. Right back here. I've got a lovely bud there. I want that. Okay, well, you crack on and uh, wash up your, um, your breakfast plates. Get your keys ready. Get ready to go to work. I'm just going to finish off the top. And I just need to decide to shorten that off, actually. Get rid of that. I've noticed I've cleared this out a lot. What I really want is this one here. Will either get removed or buds a lot higher up? Just cut that off there. Um, the front is definitely going to be in here. But yeah, what's there not to love about Italian older? The only thing I'll do is you put your coats on and thinking about the fun of the day, spray this down because we don't want bugs all over it. And obviously, everything, anything that's been sprayed or heavily pruned going to spend the next few weeks or certainly next week in a shaded area. So from Xavier, 
with his uh, bonsai for breakfast. Hope you've enjoyed this first episode. Let me know in the comments if you do. Big thumbs up if you especially liked it. If you've got any ideas, any questions, anything that you might like to see, this is going to be the spot for it. Hopefully it'll be once a week. I'm certainly starting to go away from these dedicated getting the best out of your this and 10 great ways of killing that and you know the sort of stuff I'm talking about. To be honest, I just like having a yap and a chat and a bit of a bash with the bonsai. So, from Xavier, enjoy your day at work, always enjoy your family, happy bonsai and God bless. Cheers. Cheers.